hello there. Now that you've had your follow-up with your doctor and decided that your plan is for intrauterine insemination or IUI, let's review the next steps of the process and what to expect for your treatment. Please keep in mind this is just a general overview. Your specific treatment is going to be a little bit different um, as everyone is a little bit different. Please reach out to your team for all of the finer details about your specific treatment. There are three main things that need to be completed before we can get started with your IUI treatment. First, please make sure that you have completed your prerequisite fertility evaluation. This consists of ultrasound and blood work that your doctor will order for you. If you have a male partner who is part of the process, he will also need to complete his fertility evaluation, which will consist of a semen analysis and blood work that the doctor will also order for you. If you are using donor sperm, uh, please make sure to have ordered two vials to be delivered to our office in advance of your treatment start. We accept these deliveries Monday through Friday, not on weekends, not on holidays. If you have any further questions about ordering donor sperm, please reach out to your care coordinator or nurse. Number two, financial clearance. Please be sure to follow up with your financial coordinator to be financially cleared for your IUI treatment. If you are using insurance to cover the treatment cycle, you will need to have your financial coordinator obtain authorization from your insurance for the cycle. This process can take about two to three weeks. We must have financial clearance before we can get started with your IUI treatment, so this is why it is the second step in the process. If you are paying out of pocket to cover the IUI treatment, please reach out to your financial coordinator to remit any payment and associated fees needed to clear you for the treatment. Once you are financially cleared, your medication coordinator will order the two medicines that you will need, the oral pills and the trigger injection. Once ordered, your medication coordinator will reach out to you to let you know that these medicines have been ordered to your pharmacy. Once you hear from your medication coordinator, please be sure to have either picked up or arranged for delivery of your medicines in advance of the treatment cycle. But please do not take any of the medicines without instructions to do so from your nurse. Number three, consents. Please make sure to have signed your IUI consent forms before starting treatment with us. Your care coordinator will reach out to you via email with these forms to review, sign, and send back to us. If you have a partner that's involved in the process, they will also need to sign these forms. Once signed, these forms are good for one year. If you have any questions, please reach out to your care team. Once all of these three items are complete, we are ready to get started with that IUI treatment. The first thing you need to do is email your care coordinator on the first day of your period. We define the first day as bright red blood flow before 3 p.m. on any given day. If it is a weekend or a holiday, please email fertilityday1 at cumc.columbia.edu and a member of our weekend or holiday team will get back to you the following day to help schedule you. Once your period starts, you'll need to come in on your cycle day two, three, four, or five for ultrasound and blood work appointment. After this appointment, your doctor will review your results, and if ready to start, you'll receive an email between noon and 4 p.m. from your nurse with instructions on what medicines to take and when to return to the office. Please note, we have two offices available to you. If everything looks baseline and your doctor determines you are good to start, you will receive an email from your nurse between noon and 4 p.m. with instructions for what medicines to take and when to return to our office for another visit. You will most likely be asked to return for another visit one week from your first initial visit with us. At the second visit, we will perform an ultrasound and blood work again to see how you've responded to the medicines. If you have a male partner who will be producing a sample for your IUI, please be sure to pick up a home production kit at your second visit and keep it at home for when it's needed later on in the cycle. Based on the results of your ultrasound and blood work appointment, your nurse will email you with next steps. If your follicles are ready, we will give you instructions to take the trigger injection to prepare for your insemination. If you are not ready, we may ask you to return to us for another ultrasound and blood work appointment 
in another two to three days. Please note, during the IUI treatment, it is possible that we will have you return for a few visits before we're ready to set you up for your insemination. On the day of the insemination, if you have a partner, he will need to produce the sample at home using the home production kit you've obtained from the office, and the sample will need to be brought into the office at the time that your nurse indicates. If your partner is bringing in the sample, he will need to bring a copy of his government photo ID. Alternatively, if you are bringing in the sample on behalf of your partner, you will need to bring a copy of his government photo ID with you. Please note, the lab takes about an hour to prepare the sperm sample for your insemination. You will be notified once the lab has the sample and is ready for you to be brought into the exam room for your actual IUI procedure. About two weeks after your IUI, you will be instructed to take a home pregnancy test at home. You'll need to report those results to your nurse and care coordinator and they will guide you on next steps. If your period starts before your home pregnancy test date, please also let your care coordinator know. We wish you the best of luck in this process. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your primary care team.